Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Bruce, and today I have a Mystery Hoya Cutting's box today. Hey! Um, so this one I actually reached out to a seller that I purchased from before many times, and I asked them if uh, if they would be willing to make me a cutting's box, or if they were at least offering one. And they were all like, you know, like I actually don't really do that. Uh, but just for you, I would be willing to do that. And so now I have that box. Hey! <laughs> and this just uh, goes to show you that do not be afraid to ask your previous sellers uh, if they're selling anything else that you're looking for. Uh, do not be afraid to ask and slide into those DMs unless they explicitly say do not slide into those DMs. Because I know that Hoya Hao uh, on his Instagram, he specifically states do not ask him for any specific plants uh, because he does get a lot of requests uh, pretty frequently. Uh, with that being said, please do not message me asking... Uh, if I'm selling anything. Uh, I'm still trying to grow my collection and so things are still babies and so I do not have anything really to sell. Uh, if I am selling something then I would go ahead and post it but otherwise please do not message me. All right so um, this is the box that came in. It's kind of damaged. Uh, I did pay about $120 uh, plus ship. well $120 shipped. Um, for about five rooted, or not rooted, but five cuttings. And so, let's go ahead and pop this baby open. Oh my gosh. This is what happens when I forget to eat. So I'm trying to make sure that I don't show anything that will give it away, or at least give away the person that uh, sold this to me, only because, again, uh, we did this privately, and so I really don't want anybody to start bombarding him with, or bombarding them or her with any messages, uh, because it's really what it, or it really wouldn't be fair. So. And also, please do not ask me who I bought this from. Uh, again, I really do want to try to keep this as privately as possible. If they want to um, say who they are themselves, then they could go ahead and do that. But otherwise, I'm going to keep this uh, as private as I could. So there should be five cuttings in here, and I'll go ahead and pull them out one by one. I'm actually super excited. So this is the Hoya uh, Juwan Gowana, and so again, just uh, going to <laughs> take off any indication of who this might be from. So here we go, here's the first cutting. And so, it's got some pretty nice leaves, beautiful leaves. I can't tell if this dark spot is actual leaf damage or that was actually, or if that's part of the leaf. And it does have this long trellis. I'm just going to root this as it is. Uh, looks like the tip did dry out, and so there's really no point in keeping this long as vine. Um, I might just go ahead and cut it down to this part because it looks like there was another growth tip here, and that one also dried out. So I'll go ahead and just root this in some water and call it good. And then let's go ahead and move to this next one. Did it, did it, did it, did it. Oh, oh, you're a big boy, aren't you? Oh, you're two different ones. Just kidding. <laughs> okay, put that one down. Put this one up here. Ah! 
I'm super excited for this next one. I've actually been eyeballing this one on uh, on another website. It's like Secret Gardens um, something. All I know is that their Hoyas are a little expensive. Um, and so I just haven't really bought anything from them. Uh, again, expensive is kind of subjective in a way. As then I know that some people do bid like hundreds of dollars on certain Hoyas. And then for some people, they're like, oh, like I'll only spend like $50. Uh, again, know your limits, but do not complain at the limits that you set. So, uh, this is the Hoya Sini. This is the hybrid between uh, the Hoya Anchoides, Anichoides, and something else. I don't remember what the other hybrid is, but look at the abs. Ah, oh, so sexy. <laughs> but it does have... Uh, two notes with leaves on them. I'll go ahead and also root this in water. I think I might actually cut this in half and try to root two different plants because the foliage is quite large and so that's what I think I might do. Uh, let's go ahead and get this one all taken care of too. Uh, da 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 so this one is the oh this person is the best person again I cannot share with you guys who it is but y'all I am so so happy and excited this is the Hoya Rinsei I don't know if this is the Borneo version or not but I've I've been looking for this one for so long uh, y'all cannot ex I, oh, I, I'm so happy so here I forgot to show you guys the leaves so here's the leaves so I believe that these ones get beautifully sun stressed and when they come in they're kind of like this velvety sheen and so you guys could kind of see that here and so ah oh, it's so sexy it's so nice <laughs> guys I want to cry but I'm not but I want to ah <sighs> uh, uh, this person has literally made my entire month my month, my year, my everything. They are my everything. Uh, I can't even. I don't know if I could go on, but I'm going to. So, oh, 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 guys. I'm having a ventilator. Oh my gosh. Oh. This person treated me so well, and I can't even. This one is the Hoya species NRT1. Oh my gosh. Look at the veining. It's not like prominent veining as in like it got the silver veining, but it got that veining. These are supposed to be some big ass leaves. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm gonna cut this in half and grow two plants. I'm pretty sure this grown this no, this way. Right? Or this way? This way? Or this way? The leaves tell me this way. But it could also be this way. I think it's this way. No. It should be this way. I'm gonna go do it this way. Definitely this way. This way. Anyways! Okay, so I paid for five, and I'm counting them, and I actually have six. <sighs> I'm not ready, but I'm so ready. Guys! <sighs> okay. 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 Oh, okay, I'll, I'll save that one. Okay. This person is just way too generous. Okay. Okay. I actually haven't heard of these ones before. So, even though I'm getting super excited and I'm hyping myself up, I really don't know what these ones are. So, um, 
I might have to ask for pictures or I might just pop them into water and let them grow out and hope for the best. So this one is the Hoya species Heraku. And so it's got these small lure leaves, they're thinner leaves. And they're really shiny and glossy. Look at that. Look at that. Look at the gloss. Look at the gloss. <laughs> this is what I uh, want to achieve with my lip gloss. Let's go. Because you got to keep them lips hydrated. <laughs> okay. So going off of how the roots are going, I believe that they were actually growing like this. So I don't know why they're facing down like this. It could also be just how he was... No, wait. No, maybe that's just how he was doing good. They were doing good. She was doing good. He, she, they, she, who knows? <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> uh, okay, so put that one down. So, let's go ahead and go for this last one. So this last one is so... It's also pretty nice. I've, I've seen this one kind of floating around, um, but I haven't really uh, seen it, seen it. Uh, so this is the Hoya species Burma. So let me go ahead and take all the identifiers off. And so we have some thicker leaves. I believe that this might be a type of uh, verticillata because the leaf shape uh, and it got some other abs and so it does remind me of uh, a type of verticillata so I'm going to ask them uh, if this is technically type of verticillata but it is saying that it is a Hoya species Burma so super super excited oh, I'm gonna just pop this into some water and call it good yeet okay so Overall, let me pull up all the plants one by one, one last time, to show you guys all of the cuttings that I got in today's mystery box. Let's go! So this one is the Hoya Juangoana. Juangoana. Ah, uh, look at the lime green leaves. I'm so excited. Uh, I have actually came this close to bidding on a couple of them recently. This is the Hoya Sini. Ah, oh, look at the abs! Oh. This one is the Hoya Rinsei. <laughs> ah, I'm so happy. Oh, these these are like the little bunny ears. Let's go. <laughs> ah. This one is the Hoya uh, species NRT1. So here we go. Here we go. <laughs> this is the Hoya... Heraku, Heraku. Ah, oh, look at the gloss. Ah, oh, I can't get enough. Ah. Oh. And last but not least is the Hoya Burma. Ah, oh, look at the abs. Look at the pointiness. It's so long. It's so nice. It's so lush. Ah, oh. your boy can't. Ah, oh. that's just me smoking some. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, okay, so thank you guys so much for watching. Um, and again, I really want to emphasize uh, being able to talk to your previous sellers and seeing if they are willing to. Uh, so your mystery cuttings box, if they're able to. Or uh, do not be afraid to make an in search of post. Do not be afraid to reach out to your previous sellers because... More likely than not, if you had had a good experience with them, uh, more than likely they are willing to uh, sell you the Hoyas. Um, if you had bad experiences, and if you're burning bridges, and if you're posting tea, or if you're trying to create tea, then most likely they will not want to sell to you. But again, try to be on good terms with your sellers. Um, do not be afraid to reach out. And if they explicitly stay on any one of their social media domains, do not DM them, then do not DM them asking for specific plans. Uh, it's a little disrespectful in that regards. I know a lot of people are saying that they 
feel uncomfortable or especially the people that uh, have vast collections now they feel uncomfortable with reaching out to certain sellers uh and i all i have to say is unless they explicitly say do not reach out to me uh go ahead and ask them politely if they would be willing to sell you a box or if they have certain hoyas available or just make an insert or post and if they reach out to you then uh that's a plus too but yeah, so I'm so excited. Uh, I, I, I'm lost for words. Like, look at these Hoyas. I'm super lost for words. I'm super happy. And I just, I can't even. <laughs> uh, but thank you guys so much for watching today's uh, mystery box cuttings. And this is the one reason why I love doing mystery box cuttings. Because you never know what you're going to get. And... You'll be surprised by what you get. So, yeah. And for the last time, thank you guys again so much for watching. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and follow me on Instagram at scrumptious underscore greens for you guys to connect better with me. And if you have any questions, go ahead and ask me there or leave a comment down below. And I'll go ahead and try to get to that. And if you haven't already, go ahead and like and subscribe because that's what all the cool kids are doing. So, or saying, I mean... So, uh, that's all that I have for you guys today, and see you guys in the next one.